Hi everybody, I'm Jim Skelly and this is The Global Conversation. This is the third of our mini lectures for this semester. We had a bit of a delay, I wasn't able actually, the technical issues got in the way. I was in Turkey last weekend where I had, among other things, a very felicitous meeting with um, some of the members of the European Students Forum's Environmental Working Group. This is AGE, for those of you who are um, uh, unaware of this organization. It's a, I suppose, I think it's about 14 or 15,000 student members across Europe. And I was at their meeting in um, their board meetings couple of hundred students in Izmir in Turkey. Uh, and I'm trying to encourage uh, um, a greater relationship between AJ and the members of the Environmental Working Group with the Global Conversation course because I think it provides just the kind of information that they need and they, given their activism, bring a great deal to the course. So I was delighted to be with them, but couldn't <laughs> Couldn't get the um, internet to work at the little place I was staying and uh, ran into similar problems then uh, over the next several days in Hungary. And I've just returned to Ireland, uh, just to Derry yesterday. So, um, you know, <laughs> it's hard keeping, keeping up. The other thing that's quite extraordinary, of course, is that we have, we, ha we had expected to have 50 students or so this semester, maybe 60. It looks like we have a hundred, and uh, I want to welcome those of you who haven't, uh, uh, we haven't been in touch with before, but it has meant uh, logistically a lot of work both for uh, me and for uh, the person who's been doing a great deal is uh, Sadie Blutner and of course Jenna Goodhand, um, but Sadie's been putting together the, uh, we're a little behind on the uh, creation of the learning circles, but that's one of the things I wanted to bring to your attention today. First, however, I want to urge those of you who have not yet done the exercise uh, about your stuff, you know, where does it come from? Okay, please do part one, and then do the part I have just posted, part two, and part two asks you to take one item, you know, a t-shirt is a good thing to do, and find out generally speaking, the conditions under which it was made. I have just opened another forum on this, so once you post, um, once you post your list of where your things come from, take one item of those and then try to find out what you can about where um, uh, the conditions under which it was made uh, in the particular location uh, uh, where it was made. Uh, so please do those. It's an important way for us to get the discussions in this course going and for you to recognize that we live in a globalized world. The, um, w one of the things you might also do, I know a couple of people have started course discussions, but don't be shy. Please go ahead and actually post things that are of concern to you uh, if you're unsure about something, start discussions with other people. Get in there and really do it, okay? Now, with regard to the learning circles, uh, Sadie has created two sets of learning circles. So there will be eight in each group, 16 in total, 16 total learning circles. Um, you know, six to eight members in each one. Please go through the list. There's section A and there's section B. Each one has eight learning circles. See where you have been situated. Uh, we tried to, I know Sadie worked very, very hard at this. So um, uh, we try, I always to try to give you your first choice and if not your second choice. Um, but see where you are. And if you are for some reason not there, please send Sadie and me a note straight away so that we can get you into a, a circle, okay? Uh, it's really important that this kind of work occur because you will find that this is the way that you understand it's really a global conversation about how we're living on the planet. And the first task is to introduce yourself to the other members of the circle and then to go ahead and define a project that you want to work on together.
There are guidelines about this on the website, but if you have any questions, ask me, ask Sadie, ask Jenna. We've all had lots of experience now with the course. Your teaching assistants, the various people who, the students who've been with us now for, for, for a while, and, and, you know, we can't get rid of them. <laughs> They're actually wonderful because they actually like this course and want to stay with it, okay? And they try to be as helpful as they can. So there'll be some teaching assistant who'll be working with you, but the work is for the students, not the teaching assistant. So you got to put together a project and see see how, if you can do that and, and do something interesting. There's a sample project uh, on the home page. So take a look at all those things and, and please uh, dive into it, okay? Because people are on different schedules and there's not that much time uh, in which to complete the entire project, okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to bring to your attention today is a report that's just out. I'm going to post it to you. Um, uh, it is, in, I think, very, very important. Uh, John Vidal, the editor, uh, the environment editor at the Guardian newspaper, uh, has written a piece uh, about this, and I, I want to read you some of it. Um, uh, it's titled, Civilization Faces, quote, Perfect Storm of Ecological and Social Problems. Subtitled, Abuse of the Environment has created an absolutely unprecedented emergency, say Blue Planet Prize winners. Um, the Blue Planet Prize is the sort of unofficial Nobel Prize for the environment. Uh, and in the face of this emergency, the 18 past winners of this prize have said that society has no choice but to take dramatic action to avert a collapse of civilization. Either we will change our ways and build an entirely new kind of global society, or they will be changed for us. Now, as many of you know, with regard to me, I, um, I do try to keep be lighthearted about everything, but I too think we're facing an unprecedented emergency. We're going to have to get very busy, and we're going to have to put aside some of the things that we might like to do and get to work on these issues. So um, the, um, this paper was uh, produced, uh, and I'm going to send you that. Uh, um, the paper is called uh, 21 Issues for the 21st Century. Um, and it's uh, published on the 40th anniversary of the foundation of the United Nations Environment Program. This is UNEP, right? And it's a good website. Um, uh, uh, and it'll feed into the Rio Plus 20 Earth Summit Conference this June. This is the 20th anniversary of the first Earth Summit. It's coming up. And I know that the members of the Environmental Working Group uh, of AGE, the European Students Forum, a number of them are planning their response to the meeting, and some of them are going to the meeting. And, uh, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility that you might do the same kind of thing, right? Um, among the things that the paper um, that uh, has just been issued, uh, they urge governments to replace gross domestic product as a measure of wealth with metrics for natural, built, human, and social capital, and how they intersect, uh, to eliminate the subsidies in sectors such as energy, transport, and agriculture that create environmental and social costs, um, which currently go unpaid. For example, you know, you pay tax uh, when you use petrol or gasoline, as Americans call it, uh, for your car, but you don't pay tax for airplane fuel. Hmm, strange. Wonder about that. Um, another, uh, paper, another item that they urge governments to, to uh, address is to overconsumption in the rich world. You know, we've been looking at uh, consumerism, uh, Annie Leonard's The Story of Stuff. Um, uh, uh, so they, they really want us to deal with this issue. Overconsumption in the rich world and address population pressure by empowering women. Absolutely central. Improving education 
and making contraception accessible to all except those people in the House of Representatives who don't want to talk about uh, contraception, as we heard last week uh, in the United States. Crazy. Um, they also want to transform decision-making processes to get marginalized groups in, etc., and conserve and value biodiversity. Um, so, uh, as one of these Nobel uh, Blue Planet uh, Prize winners said, the current system is broken. It is driving humanity to a future that is three to five degrees centigrade warmer than our species has ever known and is eliminating the ecology that we depend upon for our health, wealth, and senses of self. Okay? So it's serious stuff. And I hope you'll start engaging. If you haven't posted a profile of yourself or put up a photograph, please do. This is important work, okay? Um, the idea that we can somehow continue in the way that we have in the past probably isn't on at all. So, good luck with things. Please do take on these exercises because they will help you to understand the way in which this world of ours is interconnected. Um, and then uh, get busy on defining a learning circle project. We'll, you'll be hearing more from us about that in the very near future. Okay, all the best, and uh, please be in touch if you have anything you'd like to discuss. Okay, bye for now.